Uh, hi colleagues, it is very nice to meet all of you here. It is, it is a really fantastic, fantastic opportunity for Eastern Europe. That is probably uh, the first such kind of event, and I, I, I hope that this that will not be the uh, last one. So uh, thank you, thank you, Vitaly, and thank, thanks to Augmented Pixels for Good start. For, 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 this, for this opportunity. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah. So uh, I probably I probably uh, speak uh, about the things which 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 are interesting for me to hear from from those who who, who are here. So uh, I I'll highlight what what I am working on. So highlight which which kind of projects uh, are developed in Ukraine actually. And uh, for me, it's interesting to, to have an idea how uh, which kind of projects are developed in, in Eastern Europe, uh, because because computer vision is a pretty uh, fast growing uh, fast growing um, yeah a field. Actually, in Eastern Europe, it, yeah, most most of you have have met such such uh, yeah such uh, problems and start when there were not no pro projects at all here. And uh, and so on and so on. So it's it's interesting to 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 have <coughs> to have this conversation. And second second stuff is uh, I I want to highlight some some pragmatic practical practical stuff, which I believe might be might be used uh, for at least some of you in in your routine work. So I, I also expect this this stuff from from you to to learn something. Uh, and well. I, I, I hope I hope that 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 might be interesting and uh, and uh, useful. So uh, I, I'll use this this whiteboard during uh, during uh, the presentation. And please don't don't hesitate to interrupt me and at, at, at any at any time and ask question questions just just during the presentation. Uh, so let, let's go. So oh, where is this? Mm -hmm. So first of all, I, I would like to say what what uh, what I'm talking about when I say computer vision. So uh, usually talking uh, saying computer vision, I don't uh, understand just a kind of uh, image recognition, but that's a kind of fusion from different fields like uh, pattern recognition, image processing, some uh, some known routines from image processing. That is for sure a physical model especially in field of automotive. Uh, that is a signal processing, uh, artificial int uh, intelligence, uh, mathematics, and uh, depending on, on, on area, on domain where you work, uh, it may also contain some hardware specifics and so on and so on. Uh, so that's that, that, that what, what I am uh, keep in mind talking computer vision. So, so, so for me, it's a kind of general t term. Uh, Saying when, when was the birthday of computer vision, I would say uh, the pioneer is Rosenblatt with his Perceptron in 1957. Uh, and uh, that time the computer, the computer vision field was, uh, or pattern recognition field was uh, uh, not, not, not a kind of branch of science, but it was a domain which took some results from uh, statistical learning from uh, from uh, some uh, discrete mathematics, from stat uh, from uh, probability theory, and combine it to to to, to get to get some practical results, and that was really necessary step of uh, of its uh, uh, yeah development of of computer vision field. Uh, but uh, starting can, uh, on seventh uh, and eighties. Uh, the field became to return investments back. Uh, we, we, are, we are talking about two-dimensional uh, grammars, about uh, unsupervised learning theory, and so on and so on. So starting, starting with some heuristics and uh, practical stuff, which was necessary on this uh, step of this initial development, uh, today that is, I would say that is an mm, independent branch of science. And... Uh, Using this kind of heuristics, uh, which which were really necessary at the beginning, uh, may lead to some issues uh, in future. So, 
uh, especially when we are talking about R&D projects, about startups. I believe the, one of the main uh, points here is to use uh, very, um, very right problems, formulations, and to look for a very right uh, solutions, but not to use some methods which were, uh, which were nice 30 or 20 years ago. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll try to uh, hint what I mean in details uh, using some, some known methods dur during this talk. Okay, but uh, let's keep moving from, from history, right, to what, 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 what I'm working with. <laughs> well, uh, I'm technical lead and architect actually in uh, Luxoft Automotive, computer vision and augmented reality project. Uh, talking about uh, Luxoft, you may think about uh, uh, some outsourcing company, but uh, the project we are talking about is pretty different. So all stuff we develop is uh, invested by Luxoft, and all the IP is uh, held in Luxoft, and uh, we don't work uh, uh, on the model of services. We already license, uh, license the stuff we are developing to uh, automakers. So. The story is pretty different from, from outsourcing with, with which Luxoft might be associated. Well, so talking, uh, talking about uh, EDAS use cases, which are enabled by computer vision, uh, by computer vision algorithms, uh, we, are talking, we are talking about the following. About the advanced uh, adaptive cruise control. That is the case when, when, when you, are, you are moving in the modern car, cars, same as EDAS S class, you will have some kind of uh, cruise control, which detect ad uh, adaptive cruise con control, which uh, tracks the vehicle in front of you and should follow this vehicle. And uh, additional uh, lanes recognition is an is enabling feature for uh, curved roads when you should calibrate your radar to detect this vehicle in the right position because uh, the classical uh, cruise control doesn't uh, doesn't able to do so because it just detects the vehicle in front of uh, in front of you. Uh, so that is a computer vision based feature. Uh, the second one is uh, help in low visibility mode. Actually, uh, talking about the start of this project, uh, the, the, the idea was to uh, enhance the classical navigation systems, starting from from expertise uh, in navigation, which was collected in works of due to cooperation with Taiwan's and OEMs who are suppliers of navigation system. So uh, the result of this uh, expertise uh, was uh, an insight that classical navigation systems has some, uh, some natural legs. Like you should uh, look to, to, to some screen at the right side, right? And you should to calculate corresponding between some rendered map data uh, and what, what you are currently see. And I believe some of you uh, have met such, such situation when, when you just uh, uh, here make the, the, the third turn on to the right on roundabout and you start to calculate one, two, oh, was it, was it the turn or not turn? And you, you, you just go in the, in the not, not the right direction, especially uh, that, that is not, not very comfortable on highways. Uh, one time I, I, I uh, missed highway exit and I ran 30 kilometers in one direction and turned and uh, ran another 30 kilometers back. So uh, to address this problem, the idea, the idea was to uh, project, project natural hints directly to uh, the windshield, so-called uh, augmented, uh, so-called head-up display. And not to project uh, just uh, just kind of arrows or part of map data, but to project these hints directly to the root, and to, uh, to 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 get them like painted so they should should keep in their positions, and uh, what what is what is very necessary they should be projected to the uh, to the proper distance. So by by changing the beam uh, angles. Objects should be positioned to the right distance so that a uh, driver should not uh, refocus his eyes to look into a windshield or to look in the uh, not, not, not proper uh, 
part of the road. So uh, you, 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 have, you have already, I, I believe, uh, uh, imagined which computer vision tasks to be solved to enable this feature. That is object detection, that is uh, road conditions, uh, retrieval or road model retrieval, uh, that is uh, a very precise positioning, eager positioning, both relative and uh, absolute ones. Uh, as well as we should for for, for this uh, for this problem we should solve uh, solve uh, the issue related to head movement, right? So to 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 ensure objects are really stable and freezed, we should track eyes and reproject uh, reproject the objects respectively. So uh, th th that was the start of this project, and all of this uh, all of this interesting stuff we we have uh, we have solved and we have uh, implemented in our framework in Scratch. Uh, they might be used, uh, and uh, currently we use it, uh, them in different uh, other scenarios, which which I described. So that was an initial idea. Uh, such kind of scenarios, as uh, as I mentioned. Also based on this computer vision stuff, object detection and tracking, and uh, signs and traffic light detection, uh, an advanced city driving patterns might be might be calculated to enable the best route calculation engine. Uh, also, active park search. What 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 you will find is in in the most advanced car models, is the following: you just uh, go 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 over the route. And sensors check if 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 the vehicle fits to some uh, parking slot or, or not, and just if if it fits, uh, the system starts to park automatically. The idea is to detect this kind of slot uh, in advance to predict if if car may fit or not, and to 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 increase the speed of this of this process. Another another scenario if uh, is uh, parking on on the empty parking place, right? when there are no uh, vehicles at all, and you, your sensors just output uh, that there are no objects at all, and you have not uh, this wrapper points, and uh, just the vision-like vision, vision, vision -like, uh, approach work works here. Uh, this case is actually uh, what, 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 what we name augmented navigation stuff, which uh, enables uh, this kind of uh, augmented hints, which enables Facade highlighting, which is also pretty pretty a nice feature when you can recognize even what facade correspond to which which uh, house number, and facade highlighting directly on 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 the windshield is a, is a hint in this case. Uh, and uh, another scenario uh, is um, uh, on flight database update based on uh, traffic signs recognition. So. Uh, that, that, that information is for you to imagine which kind of tasks and which kind of scenarios we are talking about, uh, saying EDAS, uh, computer vision enabling uh, EDAS features. Well, so uh, the, the limitations in, in, in vehicle, uh, talking about uh, onboard computer or head unit in vehicle, uh, we should, uh, we should, we should Think about 10 years ago, computer, computers. Why? Um, first of all, uh, because of price. So, uh, if you have uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of vehicles and each unit costs $100, you may calculate how much uh, costs all, all, all of this hardware. So, uh, all the automakers uh, try to uh, have as low price as it's possible. Second, all the head units and vehicles should be properly should be properly uh, should be properly certified uh, because of shakes, because of temperature, and so on and so on. Uh, all of that reflection brings us, as I already told, ten year, to, to 20, ten years ago computers. And here you may see the uh, the parameters of typical uh, premium class uh, onboard computer which you will find today on the road. Actually, uh, current new models have uh, more powerful computers, but typically you should support features on this computer because if someone uh, buys Mercedes S-Class and pays hundreds uh, thousands of dollars, uh, 
uh, he wants to, to, to drive five years and enjoy all the features which were implemented, right? And uh, hardware design was made four years before the production, and you already have a 10 years gap. Naturally, this uh, between, between the, uh, yeah, when, when, when hardware was uh, manufactured and when, when it should be uh, used by driver. And uh, typically, typically, this uh, period is 6 to 15 years, actually, depending on, on case and depending on domain in automotive. So for public transportation, it might be 6 years. For private vehicles, it's it up to 15 years. So all of that stuff, uh, lanes detection, uh, retrieval of road model, uh, our eager motion estimation, and uh, fusion of all this data into, into the result should, be, uh, should take place in such kind of uh, computer, right? Actually, uh, that is more, po more, more powerful one, <laughs> we, we checked. Please. Right, right. Uh, last word was. Yes, uh, yes. All of that is developed in 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 this project. So, uh, I would I would enumerate to to avoid such kind of questions. So, uh, positioner component, which is a fusion between uh, GPS data and uh, and sensors data, is done. Ega motion estimation, which is uh, a kind of constraint slam uh, like approach, is in framework. Uh, lanes, uh, lanes estimation, I, I'll actually show the video illustrating uh, its results is, is in loop. Also, road uh, parameters retrieval, because uh, lanes is not all you should know about road, uh, all the slopes information. This kind of road movement should be estimated as well, even for augmented, uh, even for augmented navigation case. Object detection and classification also in loop. Uh, uh, people eye tracking uh, is also here. Uh, facades detection and facade texture uh, retrieval. Uh, signs recognition, traffic lights recognition. So semantic segmentation as an as an input for different algorithms. I think I didn't mention all the stuff, but yes, uh, all of that is, is, actually, uh, uh, is actually implemented in this framework. And uh, I, I, I would forecast uh, the next question. It is not an OpenCV-based approach or something like that. All the stuff is implemented from scratch. And uh, what, 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 what I would like to highlight is to is the basic of, of, of implementing of such kind of uh, frameworks, which I believe should be should be the resulting uh, the result from uh, R&D development to have the possibility to bring it into production, but not make R&D for R&D. Yes, please. How many kilometers of sensors of lidar of? Oh, got it. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you. That, 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 was, that is really, really uh, the most necessary question for, for the topic of moving from R&D to production. So that it, it is on the last flight, I will talk about this. <laughs> okay, thank you. That, that's, that's really necessary because uh, talking about classical navigation, actually, uh, you may just uh, simulate the stuff. Talking about augmented navigation, computer vision, uh, that is... Uh, that is uh, uh, like uh, maybe uh, the yeah the matter of luck is you pass some acceptances or not depending on weather condition depending on season and so on that's why actually this acceptance should be built based on a very uh, representative set of data in different slices in different continental countries because you have different markings types on different weather conditions, in different use cases, I'll talk about this problem as well. Um, regarding the um, hardware, um, do you know of any uh, use cases where uh, specialized uh, like integrated signal processing uh, units instead of uh, the, the common CPUs used? I mean, like the special processor? Do you mean DSPs and cameras and stuff like that, FPGAs? 
uh, yes, but uh, but today there is a trend in automotive, the trend of uh, taking the responsibility and taking of AP uh, from uh, suppliers to automakers, and this trend is supported by actually uh, by this kind of frameworks. Which are, which are ported on the different hardware and the different CPUs, GPUs, and uh, even DSPs, uh, but for different uh, those one which were were chosen by uh, automaker, because uh, yeah, maybe the the, the whole company maybe why, uh, which is actually currently I, I would say the only company in on market which which operate in this domain and which is installed in in vehicles. Other cases are uh, not not so wide. So I mean, some object detection from continental and so on and so on that are not so, not so wide. So uh, they have this problem that they just targeted their own DSP, their own processor, uh, installed in camera, and their solution costs uh, 150 or more dollars, 1,500. I'm sorry, uh, for, for 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 this box. And that's, 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 that's a huge price, and uh, no one can make something with that, especially those one who are um, SOCs manufacturers, right? So uh, this, to, to support this modular structure, we, we, we make our framework as cross, uh, cross-platform as it's possible, so we support different operation systems and different platforms, uh, Hardware platforms and different additional chips which might be installed, actually, and 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 even different uh, distributed uh, uh, hardware architectures. When some so, so something is calculated in one one unit, and there is a, a communication between units. Okay, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, that is a very uh, very strict limitation, so we should optimize this framework and uh, now I hope uh, we will start with some uh, we will start with some yeah mm, use a full start stuff so uh, to to resolve this issue uh, to resolve this uh, computational resources stuff uh, we have built a framework in such kind of hierarchical way so actually that is how we organize this uh, framework. Uh, but uh, it, it, the idea is to avoid double computational uh, computation of the same algorithm. Uh, usually, if you will use uh, OpenCV library or stuff like that, you will recalculate, say, derivatives for each algorithm which require derivatives, right? The idea is to avoid this kind of uh, recalculation, and in case uh, in case when on some frame you you just perform tracking stuff. And you don't need this basic algorithm at all. You should not calculate it at all. And uh, that is that is the first uh, aim of uh, building this this kind of uh, hierarchical uh, framework. Actually, uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, okay. So, uh, and the second the second idea uh, besides that is to measure uh, two things measure how valuable each component is for uh, the next component. So, uh, in this road recognition, the object detection may, may be not so valuable component as, say, segmentation stuff. And uh, this kind of hierarchical organization uh, makes uh, the possibility to measure these values and to bring attention to one component or another. You should calculate derivatives more precisely if they, uh, if they uh, bring 90% uh, of, of your recognition uh, quality. That, that's the idea. I, I, I will stop on, on, on this, uh, um, on this a, a bit further. And uh, the second idea is uh, to organize the kind of fusion of the data because some uh, some results may duplicate another result, like uh, uh, like eager motion estimation based on uh, based on picture is a duplication of uh, movement estimation based on uh, sensors, and another stuff of of duplication is a GPS, which might be good or bad. 
So uh, on these links we, we uh, provide the values uh, which, which correspond to confidence of one or another uh, input to make this fusion to be optimal. So that, that stuff is... When you, tran just, when you transition from one to the next stage, you might have a failure. So what is your recovery mode? Uh, because if you fail in a prior stage, and obviously the subsequent stages won't be able to, to function. So uh, that is actually the uh, visual representation of, of what is going on. Uh, the real computational model is uh, much more complicated. You may launch it in different threads, in different, uh, in different application, and even in different hardware units. So uh, that is that is a representation. Actually, there might be closed loops back to previous components. So uh, th that just demonstrates the basic idea of which kind of data to be provided from one, co one component uh, to another, and which which uh, problems to be solved. And your question is, is a bit more deeper, so I, I, I would like to suggest to maybe have a follow-up discussion on that because I, I didn't uh, had a, so I uh, in plan to, 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 to dig deep to into, it, into it. Shoot deep questions to Victor. He know a lot. Should ask real question to Victor. <laughs> he, not, he know a lot. No, continue, continue. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, interrupt, interrupt me and ask questions, but we will spend a lot of time uh, digging deep into, into the stuff you asked uh, about. So, that, that, that is a, uh, you, you, you may think that is a primitive approach, but that is an illustration. So, closed loop, uh, loops are allowed, all the stuff is done in different, uh, even in different units, in different threads. Something can't, uh, and uh, yeah, not not in the proper time. So for that, extrapolation engines are uh, are implemented for each of these components because when you are talking about recognition and vehicle, you should have uh, zero latency or minimal latency, right? So, and this even data transferring matters. Well, uh, and talk, to, talking about uh, one of cases and enabled by this framework, first of cases, that is an augmented navigation. As an input for augmented navigation, we have a camera data, we have a CAN data, map data, and navigation data. Map data is an information about routes, while navigation data is an information of what kind of maneuvers and where you should, uh, you should uh, make. And based on this framework, uh, which is a computer vision framework and fusion from these different sensors and fusion for, for, with uh, results of uh, another algorithms, uh, we have uh, as an output for this augmented navigation, uh, augmented navigation uh, case, we have uh, uh, some metadata which represents different augmented objects, which might be or might not be uh, uh, shown to driver uh, with respect to case, and this metadata representation also also makes uh, possible the extrapolation uh, mechanism applied to results of of, of 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 all the stuff, but not uh, components themselves. Actually, that stuff uh, already was uh, was launched in different vehicles model, and. Uh, when we started this project, there were no uh, augmented reality head-up displays on market and even prototypes which were able to project to the different distance. And uh, four years ago, we believed in seven years, so in three years from, from current moment, we will, be, we will be able to play with this stuff, with uh, real augmented reality head-up displays. So to simulate, uh, to simulate uh, behavior which, which will be seen on this head-up displays, we used the smart glasses uh, to track size and so on. One year ago, so in three years from this prediction, we already started to work on, on such device in, in real vehicle. So uh, things come faster and faster. And uh, here is a picture from actually vehicle 
and this frame show uh, the area of the head-up display in, in, in vehicle. And actually, there, there are some objects on it. Uh, I probably am not authorized to show uh, wider videos, so I just I just show the, the idea how it looks like. And uh, yeah, the second case uh, is uh, when you don't have this head-up display in vehicle, and most probably in production, that that, that situation will will be uh, in this state during next at least two years. So the idea is to show uh, all the stuff on LCD screen and to uh, highlight a subset of features, but already in in in, in vehicles uh, with 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 the, with the current uh, hardware. So the intention of this uh, of, of of launching uh, this uh, the software and the head unit uh, and uh, the computational units which are already installed is the following: the first prototype uh, launched in production vehicle was launched uh, uh, with adding just a single $10 camera. No additional hardware, no laptops, no, no stuff adding to vehicle. We took the vehicle, added $10 camera, and launch, launched the stuff. Uh, th th that is the idea, and that, that, that is the language on which we can speak to automakers, right? The language of, of time to market and money. Uh, that is another case of uh, collision warning and lane change tracking. Actually, a bit outdated, but uh, still uh, outdated image, but still uh, illustrates the idea. So, based on tracked uh, lanes, I will show the video of lane tracking results a bit further. Uh, we detect vehicle in, in our and, uh, and uh, neighbor lanes and uh, output some information about. Uh, for collision prevention during lane changes, during uh, during uh, some um, yeah distance uh, decreasing and so, and so on and so on. Uh, and another one uh, idea which we put to to, to this framework, uh, we we developed algorithms to make the operating with different subsets of data. So minimal subset is an image. But in vehicle, you do have some other data, like data from CAN bus, data about wheel speed, uh, steering wheel speed, maybe data from radars. So we develop the, the algorithms in the way that all the profiles of, of this data might be supported. Minimal one is an image, and maximal one is correspond to some premium vehicle. And any, any, any combinations, any, any profiles are also supported. Uh, so, 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 so that is pure vision based. Well, uh, this, 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 here becomes some uh, pragmatic stuff, which, 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 which is actually the basic of this framework. Uh, I will not dig deep in, into it because we, we have no, not a lot of time. I'll, I'll stop on, another, on the second slide. Uh, but the idea is the following: when 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 you uh, have R and D project or startup pro project, I believe the, the the most valuable stuff as an output of, of of development, there are two things. First of all, a feasibility study. You should make uh, you, you you should provide some prototype and uh, yeah uh, develop uh, develop some working prototype and. Uh, have an idea how it will work, work, work in, in real conditions. And second, uh, as a basic of uh, this uh, staff development on R&D st uh, stage, uh, this developed algorithms should be used in production. So you should ensure that, that, that the quality of these algorithms might be uh, high enough for production. For that, I believe the proper fo problem for formulation is a very necessary step. I'll, I will illustrate. I will skip this example, but I will illustrate it on, on the following example. Uh, all of you probably know uh, Viola Jones approach. Uh, actually, Viola Jones approach uh, made make uh, make it possible to to, to launch the phase de detection algorithms on, on our uh, smartphone and our our devices. Actually, uh, thinking about Viola Jones approach. Uh, like about some uh, Bayesian-like decision, we have the following. 
actually what 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 is what is going on on the picture we we, we are dividing the picture to some uh, sub pictures and then we we uh, let's keep details but let's say maximize the probability we find find some uh, sub picture which has uh, the highest probability of uh, of, of, of that some object is there, and here here I, I bring the link uh, with uh, with uh, uh, the link to a theorem, which says that this this approach is improper. Uh, improper in the in the following in the following sense. So there is another strategy, which is which uh, which has some parameters, which might be adjusted in the way that it will be better on any image than this strategy which is used in Viola Jones approach. So uh, pragmatically I would say that th that, that might be a very 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 useful uh, topic from, 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 from this talk. So uh, I, I would like to ask to, to, to share this presentation for, for, for audience. So the idea is that uh, let let get this parameter theta to define the position of of, of the object, and uh, parameter k. Let's let's talk about uh, one or zero objects. Is here or there is no object, and uh, x is uh, is the initial image. So this probability means the probability uh, uh, of that uh, the image uh, window in, in position theta, in position theta, uh, is an object if here is an, is a k is equal to 1, based on input, input image x. And what Viola Jones approach uh, does, it maximizes through all the possible, uh, through all the possible uh, decision, is there an object or no, uh, it maximizes through all the possible uh, positions of the objects this probability. And uh, theorem says that there are such uh, values theta which which correspond to object position, such that this kind of uh, decision always better for any image and for any uh, for any Im image, it I is better than this kind of decision. So, uh, uh, sorry, may I ask a question about this? So, sure. uh, there is a theorem that uh, if you have some, I don't know, linear feature space, and SVM guarantees you have like best separation in theory. But in practice, there is two problems. Uh, first, you never have really linear space, and uh, a second, uh, in practice, uh, SVM uh, is not really uh, the best one. Uh, so sometimes the boost uh, works much better as for Viola John, sometimes neural networks. So the question is, uh, this is all good in theory, but do you really use it in practice? I have never seen people who use such theorems in practice, sorry. We do. We do, yes. you do. We do, and all, all, all kinds of things I highlight we do use in practice. Okay, second question. So I understand that you are under NDA and don't can't uh, say too much. But uh, if you we talk about automotive stuff, uh, the Google Drive uh, guys they say uh, Google after drive like not hard drive. Uh, they say uh, we tried automotive. Uh, we had got like three or even five sigmas uh, per, like in precision, and it's not enough. Because if you are wrong, like only one blah 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 zero percent of uh, like I don't know seconds, then you will have crash every week. That's why they say, okay, we can do assistance. So we do. So how do you? What precision do you have? Got it. Got it. So uh, I, I, I'll, I'll maybe partially answer your question at the end. But uh, look. Look at the statistics uh, Tesla provided about their incident. What they what they told? We we have driven uh, 
to uh, to to two hundreds of millions of kilometers and got one accident. While during drives uh, of uh, normal drives, you get one accident during one uh, hundred and half millions of kilometers. Yes. That's, that's uh, wait, 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 wait. That, that's not 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 it. Let's look deeper in the, into the statistics. That, that's how, how the things should be organized, I believe, in, in, in this field. The statistics allow uh, some legacy regulations, right? The, on the normal basis, I, I don't talk about some mm, perception of person. But what is besides? They say they don't activate their uh, autopilot on 10% of routes. On those 10% of route, where 99% of accidents happen. And when they talk about 200 of thousand of millions of kilometers, they're talking just about 1%. That's, that's how this, uh, this kind of system might be, uh, th might be uh, used and how, 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 how this preciseness might be increased, analyzing a few cases. And that is, that is another, another part of our uh, project, analyzing of use cases, automatic one, based on a very huge amount of data, which was the question was, uh, which, which was asked at the very beginning. To make, to make, uh, to enable 90% uh, of use cases where the preciseness is enough. Okay, whatever number of use cases, uh, which uh, like precision do you have? Whatever. Well, when you say, okay, I'm sure it's safe to turn it on, it has something 0.000001% uh, of failure. So how, uh, how reliable is your system? Uh, well, we have such numbers, but w w I will not provide them uh, during current talk. And yeah, so. <laughs> okay. Because they well, show the uh, mm? I suppose it's almost because Tesla cannot show real statistics. I suppose it's just for official information. They will say something. To no, 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 no. The, the, that is a very, a very solid message, which is the enabler to to make able the driver not to keep his hands on on the on the steering wheel. That is a very strong message. Which allows insurance companies to reduce their uh, their insurance rates. That's not just blah 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 in 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 in, in web. That's that's very strong message. Well, keep going. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to come back to your slide here. So the the first formulation is clear. Uh, the second formulation, uh, which is what you propose, is the, the proper thing to do. I'm trying to understand why uh, this tau function. What is this tau function of things? I, I I missed here uh, the routines with with the risk and uh, mathematical expectation of risk, but this this formulation comes with with a uh, uh, risk uh, risk function which is equal to one when when we uh, make a wrong decision and which uh, comes to zero when. Uh, when, 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 when we make the right decision, and then we, we come to this kind of formulations. So you're and doing Bayesian decision theory, basically. You're doing some risk empirical or not? I just I just took one example. Risk. This theorem is is pretty general. You may you may follow the link, yeah. but I, I just took the the, the the common example, which which is uh, actually will, will, will be. Well, but the, I'm just trying to get the takeaway. So instead of maximizing some likelihood, now you're trying to minimize the average risk, basically, is what you're suggesting. Is this, is this the idea? or? Uh, again, uh, I think uh, it will be really interesting to discuss it with, 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 with you afterwards. Okay. But there is written what is, uh, is written. That is, that is the right stuff. So. Instead, instead of uh, yeah, instead you didn't, of you didn't define tau. That's why I was asking. But instead uh, of maximizing this probability, uh, the maximization function takes as in, as input some linear combination of these pr probabilities over the different windows. That is the interpretation. Is that what 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 you have expected? It's okay. I, I think I understand. So. so, Victor, you have ten minutes. And yeah, got it. Got it. 
100 people want to ask you something after your presentation. Sure. So, yeah. sure. <laughs> uh, one another. One another. Uh, yeah, pr pragmatic hint, m which might be used also also in this Viola John stuff. <laughs> Again, we, we we don't have a lot of time for detail, but still, uh, usually usually some uh, kind of this rectangular uh, features are used, right? Why why? Hmm? Because because of computational uh, stuff, right? So because we can convol we can calculate convolution in in a fast way. But we can calculate convolution in a fast way with these features as well. And uh, they are more natural uh, for, for case of human, human uh, face, right? You don't have a rectangular uh, nose, rectangular eyes, and so on. So, this, uh, yeah, this, this, there is a general idea on the bottom, uh, and the intention was to describe it on, on the whiteboard, but let's keep it. and. And uh, let's uh, let's just uh, let's just keep it as a, uh, yeah as a statement, and I can explain maybe in ten minutes to everyone who is interested how it may be calculated, and even more, even some more interesting functions might be calculated in the same uh, say linear time on uh, the convolution of those. Uh, yeah, so uh, what 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 what, I, what I'm talking about? So from 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 theory side. That's that's all. What what say theory? That there are, there is a family of function uh, with with which the convolution stuff might be calculated in 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 a linear time. And uh, from the practice, they they just took this hint for very uh, very small case, right? Implemented and it 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 works. But 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 what we believe uh, in in our framework that that, that there is an uh, uh, a, a point in between, where the practical solution might become better while having the computational time uh, within the same limit. So that 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 is that is uh, that was uh, that was the intention of this uh, example. Well, uh, that is that is, that that will be skipped. Sorry for that. And uh, talking talking about uh, talking about a huge amount of data, uh, their maintenance, uh, c classification, and so on. So uh, we, we are currently organizing this this kind of loop. So we we, we developed our own hardware, which allows to uh, collect dumps in any vehicle. Uh, we already have a part partnership with uh, automakers who already use this, this hardware and provide uh, provide dumps for back for us. And this cooperation is in, dif in different in different. For the, is, is done for different markets, so there is a huge, uh, still a huge, uh, huge uh, stuff to uh, divide between use cases, for which this this this, this statistics should be should be collected to uh, make a low, um, but but better results for some use cases which will be, will come to production uh, first. Then we have a studio for analyzing for. Uh, semi-automatic stuff of marking some ground truths, of uh, making some uh, automatic and uh, automated decisions of what wrong, uh, what what works good and what what is not. And auto when I say automated, uh, the intention it is not achieved yet, but the intention and the, the, the mechanism which is inside supports say uh, 99 and more percent of autom uh, uh, automation. Uh, stuff so uh, all the all, 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 all the all this data should be shouldn't be processed uh, manually because from one vehicle during one day uh, taking all the all the lidar data all the data which it which is captured it is ten terabytes or something like that of raw data so it for sure shouldn't be processed um, processed manually. Do you work with uh, Uh, if, with if, if, if both ongoing, ongoing project, ongoing project uh, with uh, specific automakers, but not, not, not the one. But you're establishing a wide accepted platform, it makes sense to work with uh, automakers. We, we, we work not, not just with automakers, we, we work uh, with automakers, tire ones, suppliers of these automakers, 
and uh, also with uh, SOC manufacturers because they have a high interest uh, in the automotive domain and some of, some of, some of known companies are penetrating this market right now because there are maybe four players of, of four, say, good players there uh, and maybe six, seven more players which are already on market but there are much more, uh, much more SOC pro providers. So we, we also collaborate with them and we, we, we have uh, indicated a high interest because if you have some new platform for this advertising stuff uh, within this uh, within this autonomous driving uh, hysteria, everyone SOC maker wants to bring some kit with with, with his SOC. So we have cooperation on these three levels. But uh, about about consortiums, we we we, we are currently uh, have ongoing ongoing say conversation that might be might be interesting. But. We, 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 yeah, we, we don't want to to, to target sa, some some uh, or some auditoria, and then then this uh, results uh, comes back to to vehicle with with an updated uh, with an updated uh, no. framework. First of all, framework. Well, probably I, I have missed a lot of stuff. I I wish to to highlight and. But probably I generated at least interest of one person in this auditorium, so we make, may make some follow-up on, on very pragmatic stuff which was highlighted. That's, that is just maybe a few things. There are much, much more, uh, much more things which, which should be in the basic of, of such kind of framework. And I believe that for all of us, it, it's available to, to, to bring as good products as, as it's possible. And for me, it's good when you will deliver good products, because remember Ferret, uh, and remember this this, this stuff with uh, face recognition, when it failed in in United Kingdom, uh, maybe 20 years ago, and a lot of programs were uh, collapsed, a lot of uh, scientific programs, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, production products were collapsed after the, after this fail. So. Uh, when, 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 when we make uh, good products, it's, it's good for us and good for industry. So uh, that, that, that's nice to share this knowledge. Well, thank you for attention and that's yeah. time for questions if there is any. Uh, yeah, I think we have like five minutes for questions and so we'll have a coffee break. Uh, yeah, so here's the first one and I will go through. Uh, Victor, thank you for this presentation. Uh, in, in your opinion, uh, what kind of uh, problems are still remain unsolved in this field? Uh, do, do, you mean in, <laughs> do you mean in the field of computer vision or oh. automotive? <laughs> <laughs> when do we see self-driving cars in our street? Well, good question. <laughs> Can we go in the office of Luxoft to see a self-driving car now? Uh, I hope you, you, you will be able to see something soon. Okay. <laughs> I suppose 23rd. Hmm? I suppose 23rd. 23rd? 2023. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that is one another V2X is another part of projects. I that, that just have no time to highlight all the stuff. Victor, uh, what is the licensing model for this product? Uh, do, do, do you mean uh, what kind of financial, mo financial model? <coughs> yes. Uh, no, not only financial, but uh, some models that may be only for big uh, manufacturer or some... We, we, we already, as, I, as I mentioned, we already uh, license it uh, with R&D departments of, of uh, automakers. The, set, the, same, the same stuff we are planning to to do uh, to do with with other companies mentioned uh, right now. So th 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 there is another question which was near your question and which is complex: how this stuff might come to to any any feature which which is not informational but an active one when the company uh, should be certified. That is a complex question. But yeah, so we we have a strategy on on that as so. well. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, when there will be a vehicle in production, you, 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 may, you may provide me your contact uh, details. I'll send, you, I'll send you the model you should, you should buy. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Okay. Uh, let's, yeah, we'll see. My question is about uh, descriptor, which is... Uh, Alternative to standard Viola Jones descriptor, square descriptor, you showed a circle descriptor, yes? And you insist that it's much better, for example, for face. It might be. Might be. Uh, simple question. Uh, does it mean that using such a descriptor will lead to decreasing a number of input descriptors to the uh, for example, neural network or something like that. For, uh, for example, we need uh, uh, 200 squared descriptors to recognize face, for example. But with using circle descriptor, we need, for example, 150 or even less than that. Uh, I, I would say the first, of, uh, the, the, the first aim of using such more adequate descriptor is uh, increasing the robustness of the system. The analyzing on, on decreasing the number of descriptors, my, maybe I, I can I can't just answer this question. The, the, the idea was just just the following: there is a general there is a general uh, mechanism, theoretical mechanism, which might be used in this way in, in very common example, and in in many many other ways which are used actually in in in, in our framework as well. That, 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 that was a general idea. I, I believe that this works with increasing the, the robustness for uh, some, some kind of objects. I see, but it's maybe a very useful practical idea. Is such yes, a, that's is why such I a descriptor it. leads to a decreasing yeah, so of input? It's very nice. The, the, very nice. That, that, that was the two, two intentions of this talk. First of all, to have... Uh, yeah, to have an idea who, who, who may who, right? And the second, to, to, to bring some practical hints which might be used. V v so Victor is under, under NDA, so that is why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last question, and after that, we'll have a coffee break for 25 minutes. Yeah. Uh, hi, Victor. I'm just uh, curious if you're uh, considering any advertisement blocking uh, functionality in your application. I mean, uh, there's a lot of advertisement uh, along the road. Yeah, you, you have, um, we may cover a uh, BMW car in front of you with a Daimler car, and you will not, uh, will not see any BMW cars in, in roads. Nice feature. <laughs> will you buy it if you, if you are owner of the Daimler car? <laughs> we'll think about that. No, uh, uh, this, f first of all, we, we, we should uh, resolve security problems. Then maybe we will come to advertising. Okay, Victor, thank you very much. Let's grab some coffee and uh, back to in 30 minutes. Thank you.